right, so we are going to learn Shodan today. It's one of my favorite uh, when it comes to a passive recon on the internet. It is one of the little tool that is available on the internet. Very, very affordable in terms of the subscription as well. And I will not waste too much of a time in describing the tool. You can go onto the internet, read about it. But what we are going to cover today is some very fun stuff about Shodan. I'll take you through a kind of a walkthrough of the tool in the PowerPoint, and then we'll see a quick demonstration of it as well. So to start with, uh, the first command that we need to use is to show an init and provide the API key to it, which initializes the Shodan CLI on your CentOS or Ubuntu or any other Linux or the Unix distribution. Uh, since it's um, since it's a uh, kind of a CLI based on Python, so you need to install it using the pip or a pip3. Uh, once you install it, it just runs like a normal command. Once you have initialized the Shodan CLI using your API key, you can use Shodan My IP to, she, to see your public IP. You can then use a fundamental structure of the command like Shodan search options and the filters. And that's where you can have multiple options like fields, limit, separator, or you can use a number of filters as well in terms of the port that you want to search for. You want to search for a particular network or the CIDR. You want to search the results into a particular country, state, city. You have that flexibility as well. And then a lot of other options that you can see on the screen. And the, the power is endless. Then you can also count in terms of, uh, you can build a query and then you can see a number of count onto it in terms of what is the number that is coming up. Once you have the number, you obviously can go and see the, the results rather than using the count. You can just use the search keyword with the Shodan remaining query and the filters can stay as is, and you will see those results. We'll just see a quick demo of it in a while as well. You also can do a host and give an IP address or a DNS resolvable name to it and it'll list down the location, open ports, and the organization ownership for that particular IP or the host. You can download the data from the Shodan database, and you can use this file for your analysis at a later point in time. You can use a parse. Once you have downloaded the file, you can use the parse a keyword to, to kind of extract the information from it so you can hack have the IP string, you can have the port, you can have the organization name and provide the separator as the comma, that's a delimiter, and provide the name of the file that you have downloaded. You can also submit a scan to the Shodan and they will scan on behalf of the submitter. There are certain credits that would be needed based on your subscription. You can have those uh, scans submitted. Once you have submitted the scan, you can list those scans. And once you list it, you will see an ID of that scan. And using that ID, you can continuously check using either a programmatic way or manual to see what is the status of the scan that have been submitted. You can also scan for protocols. You can also scan for a particular uh, vulnerability using the one tag. But those features are only available once you have the enterprise subscription. I don't have it, uh, so I'll not be able to demonstrate that. But otherwise, uh, those are really, really handy stuff that you can check. You can use to check your organization is vulnerable to a particular CVE ID or not. You can also get a statistics for a particular port or the query that you have uh, kind of prepared. You can have those stats. You can have multiple facets to it in terms of the OS, country, product, cloud, region, device, ASN, and again, the list is endless. And that's pretty much it from the uh, PowerPoint standpoint. All right, so not wasting too much of a time. So show Dan in it and provide the initialization key. That's my API key. I can go back to the dashboard and I can change this API key. Once I do this, it initializes my Shodan. Uh, the next one was to Shodan my IP, and I can run this to see what is my public IP on this particular host. Then I can run a Shodan, and I can do a search. Rather than search, let's start with the count. So Shodan count, count and I would say port 445, 
and I would say country US and let's see what the number. So that's that's a big number that, that has been returned. So let's see if I replace count with search. All right, so here's the data. So rather than looking at the numbers, now we are looking at the actual data from the, the from the query. And I can press a space bar. I can get more results. I can press enter. I can get a page down and then Q to come out of the search results as well. Now, uh, let's look at Shodan uh, stats. Now, that's an interesting one. And that's one of my favorite because of the reason that we are going to see just now. So Shodan stats and let's say port 5. And once we hit enter, that's the top 10 results that we get from a country and from an org standpoint. So we see that the US tops there, followed by Russia, Pakistan, Hong Kong, and so on. So these are the fair sets which are available uh, in terms of the country, org, device, ASN that we have talked about. And the, and the list is uh, endless, right? Now, if I want to have more granular stuff, so I can just say facets, OS, country, I'm also interested in a product, which is uh, uh, which is running these port 445 and probably a cloud region as well. And let's see what it returns. So we get US at the top, we get Samba as the product, interestingly, which is the, the I would say that's the top most of it. And then the second one is way behind it. Uh, we see from a cloud region perspective, US East one, Southeast East two and others as well. So essentially it's, it's across the world. Uh, what we see from an OS standpoint is that Unix tops it up followed with Windows 6.1, Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2008, R2, and again, uh, you can get more results into it as well. Now, once we have this data, uh, what we can do is, so this is what we have searched for, uh, where the OS, country, product, cloud, region, all of that is available. So what we can do, we can just improve our query this time. So with port 445, that still remains. And rather than stats, I can just fall back onto the count and I will say port 445. And with these facets that we have, I would say OS is Unix. That's the top of the list. I would say product as SMBX because that's what I'm interested in. And uh, let's say country and I would say, let's say PK. Let's see the result. So that's zero, so nothing of the SMBX there. So let's see this. All right. And let's see what kind of product is being used there. Okay, so Samba is the one. All right, so here we go. And I'll change it to Samba. Fine, so we have got the, we have gone, got the count kind of corrected. And I would search for it again. And these are the results. Now I'm not interested in the raw mode or the comments or anything else. But what I am interested in this time is the letter the IP address and uh, authentication disabled. That's pretty interesting one though. All right, so I'll say limit and I can put a result limit of 10. And I will get only the 10 results for now. Now, what I would be interested in is this time as the, let's say only the IP address, right? So I can just say fields IP STR. There we go. So we get a subset or kind of an information that we are interested in. Now, 
once we have this information with us, uh, we can download this information. So let's say I'm not interested in the fields anymore. I want the complete data set and I will make it as 900 results that I want to uh, download. And what I can say, so with limit being there with search, uh, taking a place of a download, I would provide a file name to which I want to download these results to. So I can say PK, that's the country, Unix, SMB, OPPO 5, dot JSON, dot GZ, that's, that's a gun zip file. So we have got the JSON gun zip file, and then we have got the query as well. Now, once we do this, it simply downloads the query results into a file with the name pk unix smb 445 json.gz. Once it downloads, the next step for us would be to parse the specific fields from it, or if we want to do a grep, or we want to use it for an analysis, or we want to convert it to the unit, uh, Excel, uh, we can do that as well. Anyway, so let's say we want to show Dan parse the file. So we'll give the name of the file as uh, PK. That's the name that we have given. And we will provide the fields that we are interested in. So I'm interested in IP string and the org. All right, so here it is. Now, sometimes what is needed is uh, I need so though I have downloaded it, I have passed the, the, the data as well, but then sometime having it in Excel definitely helps, right? So the way we can convert this data to an Excel is we can just run a show Dan, convert, and give the file name that we want to convert and give the file type that we want to convert to. And it just says, though it's overwritten on the message, but it says successfully created new file, pkunixsmb445.xlsx. And if I do this, I definitely see an XLSX file. And if I check the file type of it, it's a Microsoft Excel 2007 plus file. If I try to do a more onto this black screen, obviously I can't do it because it's an Excel format, but that's an Excel file available with me. And these, this will be separated with the comma so I can have a data into a different, different columns and I can then play around with this data as well. Now let's say I want to scan a particular host. So let's say this is the host that I want to scan for. So I can just say scan, submit and give the IP address. And it starts to uh, start to scan, and I see that zero ports or zero open ports found in the host and recently been crawled and can't get scanned again so soon. All right, so we can try the other one though, so that at least we get to see some results. And you can see that one scan credit has been deducted from my account, but I'm not worried about it, worried about it because that's only for the purposes of this video. So I have still a plenty of it left into my kitty. I think there's some filtering going on. Now, the the action that we are taking here is a passive scanning. So it's not an active scanning. The IP in the log of the IP that we are the host that we are scanning would be of a show then it will not be our IP address, but it'll be a good idea to connect to a VPN and then use the Shodan as well. So that just to be doubly sure that you're not getting your IPs captured in the, in the Shodan as well. Anyway, so you have looked at how the Shodan can be really devastating from the purposes of the information gathering and nothing else. But this information is definitely a key when you plan to, to launch a pen test exercise or if you plan to launch a target attack against a particular host so this showdown can be a definitely a win-win tool for for the exercise or for for the engagement uh, please share your comments share your perspectives share your insights share your learnings as well in the comment section and please do subscribe 
for more videos in the upcoming time. Till then, see ya. Bye-bye. Take care.